is possible only through jnana. That jnana becomes real jnana when it converts itself into pure devotion, pure prema. I'll conclude with one beautiful shloka from our ancient scriptures, which emphasizes how vidya is so very important in all our lives so that every activity of ours can be converted into bhakti, into jnana. Na chora haryam, na cha raja haryam, na bhratra bhajyam, na cha bhara hari, vyaye rute vardhata eva nityam, vidya dhanam, sarva dhanam pradhari. The wealth of wisdom is considered the greatest wealth or invaluable wealth in one's life because of these reasons. Why? Na chora haryam. No thief can ever steal it from you. Unless you want to give it to him, it becomes as your disciple. Nacha Raja Haryam. No government can claim tax on you. You have done double PhD, so you have to give more tax. No. No brother Bhajyam. No brother or sister can come and claim it is our paternal property, maternal property. I need to have half of it. No. It's never a burden. Any other wealth that we possess in this world can create complications in our mind, can create burden, can, can become burdensome to all of us. We may be thinking whether I have locked my car properly or not, whether I lock my back door of the house properly or not, even though you are sitting here, your mind will be working there. Because any other wealth, whether it's property or house or car, whatever it is, it can become burdensome to us. But most important aspect of Vidya is Vyaye Krite Vardhata Eva Nityam. The more you spend, the more you have. Only Vidya, only Jnana. When Guruji, such Gurujis come and give Jnana, the more they give, Every time you come and listen to them, you would like to come and listen to them more and more and more. Because the more they give, the more not only they get, we get as well. No other wealth. For example, you all have come here to SKLP. Somebody gives a donation of 1,000 pounds. They are minus 1,000. SKLP is plus 1,000. Plus whereas Jnana, when you listen to Gurujis, whatever they give, they don't lose it. The more you give, the more it becomes. Only Vidya Dhana has the capacity of keep, keeping on increasing every time one gives more. Let's all become worthy of such jnana at the feet of such wonderful gurus, under such wonderful masters here. Every time you come, please remember how lucky you are, how fortunate you are because you are children. You can be rest assured that they will imbibe all these wonderful qualities in them. You may not notice now. Bring them, every time you come here, bring them. At the beginning, it may appear to be you are forcing them. Unless you force, you lose them. At the beginning, it's a little bit of forcing them. Gradually, they will start loving it. The way you are taking interest, we must make sure that our children take interest in our culture, in our philosophy, in our religion, so that they become really rich from within. That richness can come through bhakti. We are all here to be blessed, to have, to develop that bhakti under such wonderful gurus. May guru's blessings be with all of us. Namaste. Vidwan Mahapurushwari Kashyam Phaya Tukma Kanu Kaya Kaya Nandaji is not only scholar, he is most pious man. Really. To Shastra Me Likha Hai, O Chitya Hai. Isliye Manu Ham In Se Prayam Rakhte Hai. Palitra Purushwari. Ham नंदाजी को तालियों से बधाई 